Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. In this video today, as the title suggests, we're going to be discussing costs associated with BOI certification of a Thai incorporated entity here in the kingdom. Um, the thing to take away from this video, first of all, is we have a ton of information on this channel generally with respect to Thai corporations specifically, um, even Amity structures, as well as BOI structures and certification associated with BOI, as well as information pertaining to things like the new smart visa benefit, which can be extremely advantageous for foreign nationals wishing to come to the kingdom to do business. Um, we urge those watching this video to go check out uh, through the search function on our channel to go check out uh, those videos as further insight can be derived therefrom. Uh, the thing to take away from this video though is, and the thing that we'll be discussing, is cost of a BOI. Now I'm purposely not trying to be opaque, but the fact of the matter is the costs associated with setting up a BOI structure are going to vary depending on the type of structure being set up, the corporate objectives associated with the company, um, the projected investment associated with the company, uh, as well as the projected uh, corporate activities. And to take a moment with respect to corporate activities, it should be noted that especially since the rollout of the Thailand 4.0 um, initiative here in the kingdom, as well as the Smart Visa program, um, we've, we're seeing activities that the BOI and various other um, organs of the government here in, in the kingdom are trying to promote with respect to bringing in foreign direct investment to encourage growth of these of certain types of industries as well as certain technological exchanges that are coming in that are trying to be encouraged to come into the kingdom of Thailand. It's interesting to note with respect to the technological exchanges that in certain cases it may be possible to get a BOI certification with less initial investment if one's technological exchange or one's technological, the, the technology one proposes to bring to the kingdom is of, is of a substantial nature or of a substance that the Thai, um, for lack of a better term, powers that be, are looking to encourage. And for that reason, you could see a situation where an initial investment would need to be lower for certain types of commercial activity or for certain types of high-tech industries um, that they're trying to encourage being, you know, being promulgated in Thailand, being, being sort of uh, that ecosystem being sort of cultivated here in Thailand, uh, you could see a situation where the initial investment would need to be less when compared to something that's of a more routine or maybe, for lack of a better term, I, I don't want to say drab, but just of a more, of a less... Um, technological nature, something of, of that's not as cutting edge, for example. You know, various factory projects that come to Thailand that do, you know, what can be described as rather routine things can obtain BOI certification, uh, but they may not fall under these uh, new regulations pertaining to uh, certain targeted industries that the, not only the BOI, but again, other organs of the government here are trying to encourage and for that matter, it may still be required that a, a more substantial investment be made here in the kingdom uh, with respect to those kind of industries as opposed to, you know, these targeted industries that are trying to encourage growth in those fields here in the kingdom. You may see a situation where, you know, again, uh, investment may not, the, the thresholds may not be as high, for example. Um, the thing to take away from this video, again, not trying to be opaque with respect to how much does a BOI cost, but it's going to depend very much on the specifics of the given case. Um, so the thing to take away from this video is those who are interested in inquiring about these matters, it is a very good idea to basically create a synopsis or a summary of what uh, one is looking to do here in the kingdom, um, the types of activities being undertaken, and it may be a good idea to break out exactly what types of business activity will actually be undertaken. And what I mean to say is, is there's certain aspects that may sort of be viewed internally by a corporation as just sort of inherent to their internal process of doing whatever business it is that they do. But that specific function may be something that's of, of again, may fall into one of these targeted uh, areas, one of these targeted fields that, again, the powers that be are looking to encourage over here. So for that reason, specifically with BOI, it may be a good idea to break out a summary of what type of business activities an individual or a group is looking to undertake here in the kingdom and provide that information to a legal professional who can then 
uh, go ahead and break down the costs and fees associated with getting such an entity established and running here in the Kingdom of Thailand.